What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, looking at a brand new piece of Performa Power support coming out in Collectors Pack 17. This is Performa Power 5 Arc Magician, and um, yeah, obviously its name is based on the anime 5 Arc Arc 5. I've looked over this card, and I've kind of thought about it thoroughly. I don't really understand where Konami's trying to go with this card. I find this card a little puzzling, and it seems like a card that just should have been released like two years ago, because with the Pendulum nerfs that just went into play in the OCG, and which are are, you know going to go into play in the tcg in a few months i don't really understand where the potential for this card is because it seems like uh so much of its potential has been completely shot by the new rules like this card has already been neutered before it's uh even been released but i'll look at the card and then i'll explain why most of you guys are going to instantly understand why this card is just <laughs> it should have been released like two years ago and like master a pendulum like if they would have put this in the pendulum structure deck okay maybe we would have had something so level one light spellcaster pendulum uh scale 12 100 100 attack 100 defense and uh i mean i think those are all fine one for one target pendulum scales 12 i mean i, I like pendulum 12 i like pendulum zero and i don't really think the stat line matters because it's a level one monster the first effect already makes this card's potential like so limited the first pendulum effect is you cannot pendulum monsters except from your extra deck and this effect cannot be negated this is huge guys because you guys know when we get the new rules in place pendulum summoning five monsters from your extra deck will no longer exist there will no longer be you know decks like metaphors that blow up their cards and then they put them all in the extra deck your arch centrics and you know pendulum magicians how they would like use their wisdom eye and blow up their cards or they would use like luster pendulum load up their extra deck and then massively pendulum summon that's not going to be a thing anymore so you you know restricting this monster to only being able to pendulum summon from the extra deck, that's a huge thing man that just makes this card such a uh, a mediocre pendulum scale just off the break effect two um, activate these effects for each player based on the number of cards they have set in their spell and trap zones. If they have zero monsters they control cannot attack. Also, their effects cannot be activated. Uh, this seems kind of like a decent stun effect until you realize that just about any deck can play around this. I mean, I can't think of a deck that doesn't play spells or traps. So, I mean, even if a deck doesn't play traps, like maybe they're playing a, a 60 card deck, something like that, that is not paleo. You know, most of those decks play spells. So your opponent could just set a spell in their spell and trap zone and easily get around this. And then the four effect, which actually seemed really cool until I realized how difficult it is to actually get. So if you have four or more cards set in your spell and trap zone, uh, the attack of all monsters they control, you or your opponent, become double the original attack. That's a really good uh, effect. And, you know, obviously it makes it so that you can get over much bigger monsters or so you can push for, you know, huge amounts of damage. Here's the problem, and it's the second nerf to pendulums as a mechanic. The fact is, pendulum scales are going to be moved from the pendulum zones, which don't exist anymore, to the spell and trap zone. So that means that if you have this card in your spell or in your uh, spell and trap zone, and then you to get four more cards, you have to use all of your all of your empty spell and trap zones. That means you can't pendulum summon anymore. So. I don't know. I, it seems like Konami already knew about the new rules, but they still designed this card with these huge drawbacks and restrictions. I mean, if we still had pendulum scales, then okay, or excuse me, pendulum zones, this effect would actually make sense because you could have your two scales and your two zones, and then you could set your four back row, and it's like, man, you'd have a lot of monsters with a lot of attack, but for you to get advantage out of this or for you to make this effect work, not only do you have to have this and your spell and trap zone, but then your all your all the rest of your zones have to be completely full, and you still have to have monsters on the field to take advantage of it. And furthermore, it seems very likely if your opponent is not playing a pendulum deck that this effect will easily backfire on you, and your it might be your opponent who's playing like Paleozoics and all their monsters become like double the attack because that deck can easily wall up with like four or five back row. So let's look at the monster effect, which actually I think is the one redeeming quality of this card. If this card is in your graveyard, if a spell or trap card is set on your field, you can place this card in your pendulum, or excuse me, from your graveyard into your pendulum zone. That effect is fine. I like that. Being able to recycle this card by just setting any spell and trap, that's amazing. But the potential of this card isn't that high. Like, who the fuck only wants to pendulum from their extra deck when you can only do one at a time? Like, most pendulum decks are going to completely die. If you guys have looked at the OCG since they got the new Link Summoning, there is no sign of pendulum decks at all. Like, no one plays the mechanic. It's like a dead mechanic, and this card has already had its potential 
limited around the fact that the pendulum mechanic got nerfed so i don't really know what konami was kind of thinking when they designed this card if this card would have been released i don't know in like 2015 2016 yeah it would have been a lot better because without those nerfs this card would have had a it would have had a much higher ceiling but with the new pendulum nerfs i don't know it seems very hard to get this card to really function well and um i don't know if you're not playing any back row in a pendulum deck then this card could even f you over because there might be a time where you have pendulum scales but then you don't have any spell and traps to set and then you might actually end up locking yourself out of uh having a battle phase or being able to use monster effect so i don't know this card seems gimmicky as hell but not even in the good gimmicky like in the absolute terrible it's never going to work gimmicky so you guys let me know what you think I mean, maybe I'm being too critical of the card. Maybe people have found ways to possibly exploit it. I just don't think with the new pendulum nerfs, I don't think that any of these effects are really good except the monster effect. But it's so limited by the fact that you can only pendulum summon one monster from the extra deck. And you can't negate that effect. Ugh, just, I don't, I don't like this card at all. Anyways, thank you guys for watching as always. And subscribe if you have not already.